What's going on guys? So today War Thunder officially announced helicopters and like a lot of you guys, I am very, very excited to be playing this. I remember the uh, April Fools event last year. I'm actually gonna roll some footage during this gameplay or during this commentary uh, of the old game. And it was really, really fun. MI-35s and uh, Apaches, and you could use ATGMs or Hellfire missiles, whatever they were called, uh, from a different type of scope than what they showed at gamescon they've elevated elevated evolved uh the ui for helicopters along with being able to go into the cockpit so instead of watching me do this if you haven't seen gameplay of it i'll link in the description down below um war thunder's channel or war thunder's channel and dev blog so you can go check out the streams from gamescon unfortunately i wasn't able to make it this year if anybody is wondering why i just i couldn't i couldn't get out there couldn't get out there this year. Um, I would have loved to, maybe next year. But the helicopters, I, st I still wanna talk about them. I really enjoyed the last time I flew them, which was like two years ago now, uh, two years of April Fools ago. And I mean, they were just, something about how they flew and stuff kind of didn't even feel like they were a test. They kind of worked already. And from what I've seen from Fly playing them, uh, and the War Thunder guys playing them on the stream, they look like they fly really well. The cockpit works well and the the missile systems work well. So we have four different helicopters. There is a Huey with toes on it. There are There is a early version of the uh, Cobra, not a Super Cobra, it is the AH-1F. There is a Hind or a Hare, I don't know which one it is, MI-28 I believe, and then a MI-4 or MI-8. Um, for like a transport type of helicopter now there's a lot of dummy rockets in this but the tow missile you can lock it on it looks kind of like a Fritz X it'll keep the reticle that you're moving um, on the target so it's easier to aim while the helicopter is moving uh, this leads me to believe that they're gonna go further with helicopters we have 10.0 tanks these helicopters placeholders are at 9.0 they might go down they might go up but a big concern that I want to raise before we even talk about how you can purchase the helicopters, pre-purchase the packs, because these are premiums. I see it right now that you can buy the Huey or the Hind pack. Um, I've looked up all of the 1960 helicopters that the c competition nations have in War Thunder, Japan, the UK. Um, they don't. They don't have any helicopters that are like the Cobra or like the Hind, um, at least to my knowledge of digging for a little bit. So that means all of those, those nations helicopters when they're added are probably going to be some variations of the helicopters we make, uh, either a Russian helicopter or a variation of a American helicopter. And or they're going to go uh, like later on down the line to where these nations started to develop their own helicopters that had offensive capabilities. I don't I don't know I'm just curious about that uh, I want to know what you guys think and you guys are more knowledgeable than I am on military helicopter or aviation and stuff history in general so if you could comment down below anybody some competition helicopters that could fight these things um, and balance the game still so that's what I'm curious about now let's hop into uh, what the actual packs are themselves so the first pack we have is the Huey Hog pack. This includes the UH-1CXM-30 Rank 5 USA helicopter. This is a variation of the Huey, a very popular Vietnam era American helicopter. Uh, it was a transport helicopter. They had variations with dummy rockets, variations with grenade launchers in the nose and 60 uh, M60s on the side and everything else. So it's a very iconic helicopter. I'm glad they went with that as the premium. You also get 2,000 Golden Eagles, 15 days of a premium account, a unique title called Pathfinder, and a unique decal for the Iroquois. Helicopter closed beta access. So there is going to be closed beta access for helicopters. This leads me to believe that there are going to be ground battles in which the helicopters are the main show. Not, not necessarily you spawn in the helicopters first, but there's going to be some type of game mode where the helicopters are only allowed in. You're not going to be playing this in the normal ground forces so maybe it's going to stay like this the entire time i don't know 
Now it says, the UH-1 Iroquois helicopter, also known as the Huey, is one of the most famous mass production helicopters in the world. Designed by American company Bell in the mid-60s, this utility helicopter powered by a single, tur single turboshaft engine with two blade bladed main tail rotors took part in more than 10 wars around the world and is currently in service in 60 different countries. That's pretty insane. The Model 1C was developed during the Vietnam War and has upgraded a 1,100 horsepower engine allowing for 135 miles per hour, 220 kph maximum speed at a service ceiling of 13,390 feet, 5,900 meters. Uh, as an alternate to the standard armament, which consists of machine guns, unguided rockets, and six tow AMGs, you can install ex an experimental XM30 system, two 30mm guns with 600 rounds per gun, which is pretty interesting too. Two 30 mils, if they have good pen, might be pretty effective for taking on planes, or planes and tanks <laughs> for that matter. Um, we have the Hind Pack. Now this is the Russian equivalent. Both of these packs cost $40. By the way, I don't know how many euros that is or you know any other conversion but it is 40 usd uh, the hind pack includes the mi-24d czechoslovakian air force camouflage hind helicopter it's a rank 5 ussr helicopter it also comes with 2000 golden eagles 15 days of premium a unique title sharp tooth and a unique decal the czechoslovakian army coat of arms and closed beta access. It says the MI-24 series was developed in the late 1960s and is the most widely used attack helicopter in the world. The MI-24D was released in 1972 and has several distinctive features over the original MI-24A model. This model has a redesigned forward fuselage. So the original one didn't have these bubble canopies as you're looking at now. It actually was like not rounded glass. It was real structured and it looked disgusting. Uh, this helicopter on the other way, on the other hand, is very appealing to me. Um, <laughs> this model had a redesigned forward fuselage with two separate cockpits for the pilot and gunner in tandem configuration. The also new titanium armor was installed with which is <laughs> sustained shots from 20 millimeter guns, which is pretty insane. Does that mean the Vulcan can't kill it? <laughs> That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Russian buy <laughs> an armored cockpit and glass. The armament consists of 12 0.7 millimeter caliber, four barreled rot rotary cannon, four Salcos, Phalangia, MV anti tank guided missiles with 550 millimeters of armor penetration and various additional ordnance options of 23 millimeter gun pods and un unguided rockets and bombs. It gets bombs? That's pretty insane. But I'm, I'm wondering why they didn't say how fast it could go because they talked about the Huey. That's why I read that. I wanted to know the, the service ceiling and stuff, but I guess we don't get that. Anyways, what do you guys think about these helicopters coming to War Thunder? Are you excited? Do you think there's more to come from Gamescon? And what vehicles could they add that would compete with these helicopters? Do they have to go more into the future? Do they have to have Lend-Lease variations? Let me know in the comments down below. It's been your boy Slick. I'll be live with War Thunder around 6 to 7 p.m. tonight with my buddy Chicken Prisms. If you don't know who Chicken Prisms is, check the description of this video and you'll see his Twitch channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.